Hey, uh, here's a little known fact. I was Undertaker's best man at his first wedding. That that was three weddings ago or four weddings ago. <laughs> so you might have been a good friend, but you weren't really a good luck charm. No, I wasn't. <laughs> and actually, you know, I tried to give him some advice in that in that category too. Did you say don't get married? Well, I kind of said that I think you might not want to go down this road right now. I didn't tell him not to marry the girl. You know, I'm not going to do that. But I'm telling him, you know, you might need to maybe think about this a little differently. You know that Paul Simon song, Get on the Bus, Gus, Get a New Plan, Stan? Remember that song? I actually went and bought, and this is now, this I'm dating myself now. But that was back in the eight track uh, tape days. I went and bought the tape and would stick it in there, and I would like play it over and over and over. Well, he'd be getting in the car and he'd be playing. So when he'd look at me and says, Well, I'm not going to change my mind. I said, Okay, okay, okay. And later on, when I when I finally saw him back in, you know, WWE, he said he again he he, he said I should have listened to you in two things. He said first one was about my hip dropping the elbow, and he said that that and he said it like this. He said he laughed. He said you know that that marriage thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, he he was a laugh. I, I love him to death, and you know he he bought a car one time. Let me tell you this is another story. He bought a car. He's six nine. And guess what he bought? <laughs> Something small. <laughs> a Ford, a Ford oh, Escort. God. Now, which would have been fine for me. But I asked him one time. He got in the car and he had to push the seat all the way back. And he was still cramped up. I said, why in the fuck did you buy this car? He said, oh, I don't know. He said, it's good on gas or whatever he said. So finally, when he went to uh, WCW, he, d- he just left the car with me. And he said, here, drive it around. And then... Uh, he, he asked me one time, do you want to buy the car? I said, no, not really. <laughs> Cause I didn't need a car. So I remember though, uh, he finally came up one day and he had the title to it and he put the title down and he said, here, sign this. I said, why? He said, I want you to own the car. And he gave me, he gave me, he gave me the car. The car had 60, 70,000 miles on it. But, but, and he said, this is what he said. You're going to drive the car. And it's in my name, so if you have an accident, you know, it's going to come back on me. Here, just sign it over to you, and you got it. So you just – and the car, the car at the time was like three, four years old or whatever, and it's probably – we'd run. I'd run the hell out of it, and he had two. So anyway, but he ended up giving me a car anyway. We talked a bit about wrestler's court. Can you remember something that you took Mark Calloway to for what crime he committed to go to wrestler's court when he was younger? Well, I think one of the biggest sins you could be back in those days, and of course this was all made up. It's all made up and fun. We called it romancing the rats. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> because of all, all the girls who hung around the matches, you know, if you're really too nice to them, you know, of course the belief was that, well, if you're nice to them, they expect us to be nice to them. And then you kind of- What constitutes too nice? What, what, what does that look like? Uh, talk to him, talking to him and kind of getting out of gimmick and, you know, and, but, uh, so I would bring him up on those charges because, uh, and of course, and we'd be going down the road and I'd say, Hey, well, that girl you was talking to the other day. And it wasn't, you know, it was just, it was made up stuff. And I said, did I see you kind of lean in and whisper in her ear? No, no, no. I said, I think I did. Wrestler's court, wrestler's court. That's one of the rules. You could call wrestler's court at any time. You could be, you could actually call it in the middle of the ring during a match if you wanted to. I mean, you probably did have to be a real short trial, but we could call it in the dress room. We could call it in the car. And, but that was, that was one of the things because I was, I was, but see, I was always the judge and the prosecutor. And then of course, Mark undertaker would try to defend himself. Of course, I overruled every objection he had and it was about a five minute trial. And of course he got convicted every time. But then he, I did allow him now in, in fairness, you know, in my, uh, I wanted everything to be, uh, oh, out in the open. Uh, he actually put me on trial several times too. So that was, that was in fairness. 